What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 74 and today I'm here to bring you guys one of the best gameplays I've ever done in Call of Duty and this one is in Modern Warfare 3. Now what happened in this gameplay, I managed to get 81 kills. I passed the 80 kill mark for the first time ever in Modern Warfare 3. Also something else happened, one of my teammates by the name of Crew 7 Chavez, he used to be one of my clan members back in Damage Inc. in the Modern Warfare 3 times in 2011, um, he got a Moab in the middle of the goddamn match and he wasn't even doing good in the beginning of the match so um yeah this whole gameplay is just tremendous because we also managed to pull a 60 point comeback uh we we're down 100 to 160 in domination so it is a very crazy ass gameplay i suggest to watch the original one with the original audio the original music you're gonna be very pumped up for the next call of duty i'm telling you because it is possible to pull one of the biggest comebacks of all time and this was it you know this was our biggest comeback of all time so go watch the original video i'll put the link in the description and uh, check it out because it is amazing so um anyways moving on to the main topic of today what do i miss for modern warfare 3 now modern warfare 3 it is quite of a different situation compared to black ops 1 which pretty much i just ran solo like 24 7 and i uh, didn't accept anybody invites or friend requests it wasn't until modern warfare 3 where i started to play with clan members uh friends youtuber friends you know a lot of people started adding me because of my youtube channel and um, pretty much uh, what I can say about this situation was that it was super fun to play with different amount of people like uh, Cruel 7 Chavez he added me after I joined Damage Inc and we did a hell of a job by um, you know killing a lot of people every single gameplay like getting 50 kills each like we were just you know going crazy in ground war it was just total domination in ground war when it came down to the clan operations me and crew seven chavez were just owning out there in team deathmatch hardcore match um domination you name it we will just roll together all the goddamn time along with some other players from damaging from uh th their names are like uh gotcha good psycho kills creation uh war gamer there was a lot of people i used to hang out with and it was total fun man so um adding people playing with people clan members it was just fun that's what made modern warfare 3 fun for me that's what made me stick a little bit longer than in black ops 1 actually you know black ops 1 was all year round along with modern warfare 3 and modern warfare 3 the only way i sticked around is because of the clan and my friends that i met and it was just tremendous man a lot of people just really made this game fun so another thing that made this uh pretty much uh something else that i missed about modern warfare 3 was um my p90 the p90 weapon was just one of my top smgs i've ever used uh right under the ak-74u by the way the p90 just had a, a great amount of ammo in a single mag it was perfect with the silencer it was very stable it was good from long range so i don't know this weapon was all around for me it was just so perfect man and i think i achieved like over 100,000 kills with this single gun so it is a great you know it was a great time using the p90 it was just solid kills solid situations and i just managed to execute every single player that was in front of me it was just tremendous uh running around with the p90 i did achieve so many accolades with this weapon so um another thing that i miss about this game was the kill streaks like the ac 130 the reaper and the uh i don't know the the, the kill streaks were very very good they were very impacting then uh, they were game changers pretty much and um especially those choppers man they were really hard to take down so uh the kill streaks were very interesting to use uh even though they were the same from modern warfare 2 and call of duty 4 like people keep saying and oh and by the way cruel seven shots with the moab right there so anyways uh, another thing that i miss about uh you know modern warfare 3 was the explosions you know every time a missile will like come down from the sky you will see like dust gathering around you and are very it was got like very dirty your screen will freaking be dirty as hell i'm like what the fuck i can't even see so the explosions were very um you know very amazed you know i was very amazed i was like god damn you know i feel like i'm in an actual war so um, the explosions made everything better, so uh, that's something I miss because in Black Ops, you guys should know that the explosions look like crap. Like literally, like they don't even, they're not even real, man. They look like some flashbang just went off with the explosion inside of it. So I don't know. It looks super ugly in Black Ops 2, so you all gotta admit that the, the, the animations were not that good in Black Ops 2 when it comes down to explosions. Only in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 especially, so... Um, I think that's about it. The clan members, the friends, the sit the moments, uh, funny live moments. My YouTube channel grew from Modern Warfare 3, and um, you know, it was just total, it was just fun. I, I believe Modern Warfare for me was just 
pure fun for, because I met so many people and I managed to do uh, YouTube videos and it was just a very new um, new thing to, for me to do. So that is it guys, so I wanted to talk about, uh, hopefully I can bring you guys a story about my Damage Inc. clan, which pretty much was good in the beginning, ranking up in the top 50 in the whole world in clan uh, clan, clan operations, and then we ended up spinning up right after Black Ops 2. Uh, hopefully I can bring you guys that story later on. So that is it guys, if you guys want to see more Call of Duty, make sure you subscribe for more.